Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Broku Cast. My name is Broku Satsu. I'm your oops sorry. I am your lovely host. And today, well, we got a lot to talk about. We got to, we're gonna talk about Tokyo, my IOL life, and what the hell has been going on with me ever since the last episode went on my little rant about where I live at. Okay, so <clears throat> let's talk. Okay, so let's just get this one out of the way. Let's talk about the elf in the room, which is Rita's gender. The the pronouns the pronouns for Rita are they and them. Yeah, they slash them. Now I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put a link in the description and video from Hawkley and he he and he talked about this way better than I am because I'm going to uh well butcher what I'm gonna say but please forgive me for this. Here's my here's my honest opinion about the whole thing about Rita's gender. For those that are complaining that Rita isn't a female just like her actress, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. When it comes to LGBT rep, LGBT rep in Tokusatsu, it isn't the best. Power Rangers, we got Izzy from Down Fury, and that's really cool. Can't lie about that. But if, but like for Sentai and Kamurai and Ultraman, it's not like that big over here for the franchises. What's over here? No, it's not that big. It's not that big for the franchises. And Rita is taking, and also, let me say this, and Rita is the second, I say second, non-binary character in Super Sentai. Wait, who's the first? It's that, <laughs> I forgot their name for, uh, from Dawn Brothers. It, it's the Red Noto character. <laughs> I, for, I forgot his name. Sorry. Their name. I, f I, f I forgot their name. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. I, now, let me say this. I am not, I am not non-binary. I'm not cisgender. I am none of that. I am a black man with ADHD who loves talking about kid shows that I love and sometimes don't like. But, hey, that's to eat your own on that part. Now, I see, now, it's okay, you guy. It's okay if you have, like, a attraction to actress just because, and that's, that's auntie, and that's auntie, I think, and that's auntie, I think, ah, and that's auntie why I think it's the main issue with this whole thing. Because her actress is a girl, and people are assuming, oh, okay, Rita, okay, Rita is a girl too. No, the actress is a female, yes, but the character isn't. A few of my friends on Twitter, like Lupin J and Mako, uh, pointed this out to me and many others about <laughs> about about Rita's gender. And uh, well. Again, I'm gonna put Hawkley's video in the description because he explained it way better than I than I am. <laughs> and uh, and when that happened, the Ranger board, well, the Ranger Ricky went went on went on a batshit crazy. The Ranger Ricky and many other toxic side of the fandom went batshit crazy just because he wasn't a female, just because the character wasn't a female. Now, the Ranger Ricky isn't the best place for info, even though I do use that, even though I do use the info at time for my, for research, when I'm watching a show. Same for Kamurai Ricky. The Rickies aren't the best place for information, just saying. And, <laughs> Ranger Ricky, this whole drama, my god. From what, from what I was, from what I saw on Twitter, from from, from what I saw on Twitter, 
people in the Discord were acting fucking like assholes about the whole situation. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm just gonna say it like this. I'm just gonna say it like this. We the pronouns are they and them. The actress is a female. Yeah, you can like the actress. You can have an attraction to her. That's fine. Hell, I freaking do too. She's cool. You can. You... Okay, that's weird. You can have a crush on her. Fine. Just don't be creepy about it. About, about, about your obsession with these actresses. Because, my God, I can't stand the community when horny fans were, were sexually harassing the actresses in the DMs. PT. No. Eh, no. I don't, I'm not going to say PTSD. No. Uh. A little PS, a PSA. Do not harass any Toku actor or actress in the DM just because how handsome or how hot they are. No, that's just no, no, that's just gross and weird, and that's not going too far. Like, don't wait a minute. I have my fair share of actresses that that I think that are well attractive, but. <laughs> But the thing, I won't go in the DMs and bug them about. I won't go in the DMs. Why not? It's against the rules. It's going too far. I don't. They have their business. I have mine, and let's keep it that way. I feel like I want to go back and talk about 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 the LGBT rep in a common writer. So, Hawkeye video when he talked about the whole Rita situation. Again, I'll put the, I'll put the link in the description. There's one part of the video that he said that I some I actually disagree with for a reason. And he talked about and he talked about uh about Sakura and Aguilera and how yeah he said how yeah revive was so close for having them being. Like the first lesbian, and yet then the special made them say that the sisters. I actually disagree with that because here's the thing: you got you got to remember, guys. Revice is a family show. Revice is a show talking about family, and uh, Aguilera's intro song "Light and Bloom" from the Girl Remix special is basically talking about her to not having a family growing up, and she sees Sakura as an older sister. Hey, even a friend of mine told me that the uh, the actress himself even commit even confirmed that uh, the relationship was like sisters. And for those gonna ask me about 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 the about the tree and the post on on the Revice Twitter Instagram account at the time when the show was going on, showing Sakura and Aguilar's actress saying love is love with a LGBT rainbow on there. Well, I'm well, I'm just gonna get that just for marketing reasons and that's it. And after that the fan I'm just went, hey why is it <gasps> totally confirmed they're gay, they're gay <laughs> Listen, if you wanna ship them, that's fine. You can ship them. Just don't be just don't just don't sub it down people's throats. Because I just can't, I just don't like that ship. Moving on. The closest, the closest thing I can say for for Tokyo, well, the the pretty much the closest thing we can say that uh, Tokusatsu in general had like a a lesbian relationship is is the Infern from Dino Fury. Now I'm not the, now I'm not the biggest fan of Dino Fury. Yes, that's true. I'm not. But I can't lie saying that uh seeing that happening seeing that seeing those two becoming a couple was a heartwarming moment in the show for me. I can't lie. I actually enjoyed that. And yeah. Now I can't talk about Ultraman that much before because I know I know they're non binary characters in Ultraman. But here's the problem. I did. I didn't watch those shows with the characters, with the uh, with the character. With, with I didn't watch. I don't know which Ultraman shows had like LGBT rep in it. So please forgive me. So yeah. 
So, <laughs> so anyway, oh crap! God damn, my phone's blowing up. What the hell? Sorry. So anyway, so anyway, moving alongside from that. I I I. I by the way, this episode gonna this, this episode gonna be uploaded tomorrow morning. So yeah. But uh yeah, anyway, moving aside from that. <laughs> For, for, like, uh, Kamen Rider, like, the only, like, rep for LGBT, like, LGBT rep, representation is, well, oh, shit. I would say Ryan Guy from the UK and, uh, Bravo from Gaim and, uh, I think there's one more. Oh, yeah, the freaking donut mm. character, the freaking donut owner from Wizard, the kid, the, <laughs> the actress. I think actually, the person that plays the character is transgender. And so, how did I know? How did I know that? It 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 was it, it was a bit confirmed. The character is trans. The character is a transgender. It's a transgender woman. I I want. I meant to say. So yeah. And uh, yeah, no, that's it. That's all I could think of. <laughs> and yes, I did say Raya guy because of the Ryuki <laughs> of the Raya Time Yuki special. Oh boy, that the most the I the most controversial special. I have a hot take actually about that. I I actually prefer the Neo version of 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 a lot. I. I actually preferred the I actually preferred the Neo version of the Ryuki opening from that from that special more than the original version. I don't know the music just vibes with me so much. I love it. It give me it gives off like a freaking do a freaking techno vibe to it. I love it. So yeah. While I'm not while I'm, while I'm not like a while I'm not non-binary, I c I can't say that I actually I actually looked up to Rita in her debut episode. Why? I felt I totally see myself in the character. And again, I'm not like again I'm not again I'm not I'm not like a I'm not a cis I'm not cisgender I'm not non-binary I'm none of that no I'm just a <laughs> I'm just a uh, <laughs> can't even go say this. I'm just a uh, straight, uh, twenty-two year old black man with well, ADHD. I can say I'm also blazing too, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's also true about me. But uh, I'm not gonna get into my personal uh, side, of my 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 personal stuff about me. But that's for a later time. But anyway, yeah, we just debut episode. Was so good because I saw myself in the character. They have moments where they they have so much anger they just want to release it and they hide and they hide all their stress while talking to someone, to an object or to a thing. I too can relate to that. And that the silent type. This I can't lie. They reminded me of Piccolo from Dragon Ball. To be fair, I, I think Rita and Piccolo were would definitely be good friends. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but yeah, though, uh, but yeah, though, Rita, Rita, Rita debut episode was really cool. I like the character. I like, I like what they, I like what they stand for in general, and I'm, I'm very really interested to see what their writing goes toward throughout through every episode. So yeah. Guy and also please do not harass the actress, just be just because how attractive she is. <laughs> Matter of fact, I I do want I do want to talk about something that I do want to talk about something. I've been seeing this lately, recently a lot in the in the world, but uh, I kind of find it annoying how 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 uh how ladies who are well. How there are the type of ladies out there who are, 
I I got I gotta think about how I'm gonna say this. Well, well, getting canceled. Well, sounds sexist. Uh, okay. I have my I have my issue with those type of girls out there who wear makeup a lot just to get like special treatment. I don't like that. That's 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 unfair. I can say, and uh, I think all ladies should get the same treatment as respect for that. Just because one's wearing makeup looking pretty, that 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 doesn't that that doesn't seem right to me. That doesn't that that doesn't seem right to me. Nah. Imagine, imagine if I was a girl. Oh God, can't I say that? <laughs> imagine if I was a girl. Uh, no, hold on, no, 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 let me fix that. Imagine walking by, imagine walking by a neighborhood, no, well, a store, and you see a guy getting free sh sample, but at the same time, he's being sketchy, and he's gonna get free, sh he's only getting free shampoo, free sample. To the to, to the type of ladies out there who wear a lot of makeup and look pretty, and yet he gets none to ladies who don't wear makeup, and 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 doesn't look pretty as well. I'm gonna say my bad. And uh, yeah, no, I don't like that. If I can't lie, tell you this, but uh, I said this, I said this multiple times to my friends in high school. And I said, I said, I said like, I said like what last. Like, like what a couple days a couple weeks ago on Twitter but uh, here's a hot take from me I actually prefer girls who don't wear like makeup and the type of girl I mean is they wear makeup but it just they're not they're not like showing it all over their face perfect example there's an episode of Full House when uh DJ <laughs> And Kimmy uh, started their first high school year, and uh, they wore like a lot of makeup, and uh, well, and well, it backfired on them. Now, I'm just I'm now. Hold on, yes, I know, I I know they were they they were they were they were, they were, they were Boku, you can't say that. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm just using this as an example for 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 the type of girl that I like that I prefer. Let me finish. I'm, I'm Rebecca. Well, Rebecca uh, told DJ that uh, she can help her hide her makeup to make her look like she's not wearing any. And that's basically the type of girl I. L that's basically the type of girl that I like. They wear makeup, yeah, but at the same time, they're not like they're hiding it. They're hiding their makeup, and that's base. And that's basically the type that I like. Because I can't like saying that. Uh, I can't. I can't like saying that through my high school year. Uh, like every like like every friend, every girl our friend wears wear way too much makeup, and get and get like special treatment. In the hallways, I'm like, I say to myself, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, sure, have fun with that special treatment. <laughs> ay, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> ay, 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 2019, well, high school me was built different. I still, I'm still built different, but yeah, but yeah. That might be a hot take, but it's true though. I just, I just, I just prefer girl. I just prefer girl without makeup. Why? Well, I feel like, I feel like when they're wearing makeup, they're hiding their true self behind like a mask. Okay, that's not wrong. Wait, not a mask. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. They're hiding their true self behind a mask, and uh, I just, uh, and that doesn't work with me. But them not wearing makeup, I, I I totally see their true selves. 
I totally see the I totally see their true selves. How do I know this? Well, it's well, it's true. Well, it's uh, it's true. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's true though. For record, if anyone go call, for anyone go call me out saying I'm being sexist all day. No, 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 On the Book Sachi channel, we do not, we do not tolerate sexism, racism, any of that crap. No, I can't call that. I can't say crap. We can, we, we, we do not tolerate any of that. I was just being honest with, with, uh, with, with my type of taste and <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't lie. Saying that my taste in women is uh fascinating. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to censor myself for saying this, but uh, for like any for okay, <laughs> okay. So here's my. <laughs> What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. So, here's my list of. So here, here are the checkpoints on my list for this girl to well, for for any for any female to be my type. For record, uh, for record, if she's like if for record if if if, if she's like white, black, Asian. Uh, Latin, Latina, or like any race, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm a hundred percent okay with that. I'm okay with that. But back on, but back on, as I was saying, number one, she got to like Tokusatsu. <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know. It's not like that. Uh, not like that. I always want to have a girlfriend, so me and her can go watch like a toku show, or movie in theaters. Number two, she number two. She got to. She got to. Uh, number two. If she uh, if she likes like superhero media stuff like me, like like movies and comics and video games, I'll be like, oh hell yeah, I'm. Oh hell yeah, that's pretty cool. Number three, I want to know, number three. I want if she if she has a if she, number three if she has an interesting hobby, like a really interesting hobby. I'll say, oh heck yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll be down because well, I I have a hobby too. I take pictures. I take pictures of toys from Japan. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I take pics. I take pictures of toys from Japan and America as well. Sometimes Marvel Legends, and all the time Lightning Collection, but mostly SA figures and sometimes Mayfix. Oh, speaking of SA figure, hold on. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was great. So back on saying about 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 my dream girl. Now number four, I want I want to have like a deep, a deep like spiritual connection with her. And uh, what I mean by that is that I want us to I want I want us to have like talks. It just be me and her talking about talking about uh talking about stuff that talk about stuff that's on our mind because it's hard. I can say for me to find some find like a uh, girlfriend we can say right now because last year last year twenty twenty two the world had been the universe has been teasing me about it <laughs> and I got emotional about it and now 
I don't know. It stopped out of no reason. You know. <laughs> I know that 2023 ha ha has a lot of supplies for me. Who know? Who know? Maybe I'll join offline TV now. <laughs> hey, real talk though. Offline TV. Hello, my name's Aaron, and uh, welcome to my channel. If you guys are, well, I know none of you guys are watching this. But if you were, if you were watching this, if you see this, I'll, I would love to join you guys' team because I will be a valuable asset to you guys. Like, what I mean by that is I'm down to help, like, I'm down <laughs> to, uh, help making video ideas, help taking, I I'm down to help taking video ideas and, uh, well, also taking pictures if you guys need, like, a photographer, which I would know. Which I already know you guys already have one, but I'm just saying I'm down to help. And yeah, I'm you know yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so back on as I was saying about about my teenage girl. Yeah, uh, last year the universe had been teasing me about teasing me about a special someone about, about a special someone's gonna be in my life next about this year. And uh, everywhere I go, I felt this. A strange energy that I see right next to me, and I don't know why. And now it stopped. Now, I, now I just gotta wait to see what's gonna happen. But uh, yeah. The last time I had a crush on a girl, for me again. <laughs> ay yeah, yeah. Twenty twenty nineteen. I say twenty twenty no. 2019, I had questions with one girl. Not gonna say her name. And, uh, yeah, high school me, when I first met her, when I first met her 2019, he couldn't stop thinking about her. Since, all the way to 2020. Then he stopped talking, then he stopped thinking about her, stopped talking about her. Yeah, that did happen. No joke. This girl was on my mind. This girl was this this crush I had was she was on my mind nonstop. I couldn't eat, sleep, drink water, play video game. I couldn't make stop motion at the time because she was on my mind. Y younger me had it bad for her. What about now, Boku? Do you still miss? Do you still like this girl? See, she's a cool friend. That's it. <laughs> she's a cool friend. That's it. Looking back at my own memories for high school and uh, all that, it's uh, it's crazy though. It's actually really crazy because oh man, high school for me was actually a good year. Freshman year, I freshman year, I basically were well, well, I want to say fresh me. This is a reminder. Hold on, Alexa, I turn it off. Okay, my bad. I, I, I forgot that. I remind her. To, I remind her to, my bad. I forgot. I told her to remind me to make a podcast episode right now. I'm sorry about that. But yeah. But oh yeah. Uh, high school year. How was my high school year? Pretty crazy, that's for sure. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Freshman year was really good. Junior year, well, yeah, junior year, well, sophomore year, I could say, was a little annoying, tough, but it was all right. Junior year, I was basically a god, but I'm going to say god, no. <laughs> junior year, I was basically, well, Shoot, I was basically like Goku, kind of, but at the same time, Deku, and I was basically going through my anime phase at that time. Senior year, I was a god. I'm not, okay, let me explain by that. I said to myself that uh, when, when you become a senior in high school, you basically have the power of a god on you. That, okay, that's some bad logic, but I mean, like, you basically, you basically tower above all. And I'm like, damn, I, I'm a senior, I'm a senior in high school, and all my, all my old seniors, all my old friends who were seniors before me, 
<laughs> and now in college. Don't worry, guys. I will take good advantage of my high school year. And yeah, I did. I was a god. <laughs> I was a god. I was the king of high school. I, I made to roof. I made the roof with an iron fist. I was a super saiyan as well. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not a super saiyan. <laughs> Although, I did imagine myself becoming, I did imagine myself as a Saiyan through high school. So, it's like this for my, it's like, so, it's like this for my high school year. Freshman year, I was, I was, I was, I was in my base form the whole time. Sophomore year, I was basically a Super Saiyan. Junior year, I was basically a Super Saiyan God. Senior year, I was playing the Super Saiyan Blue slash Ultra Instinct. And then in graduation, I became, I basically became GT Goku. <laughs> because, dude, no lie, when I, when I graduated, I was thinking about Dragon Ball GT the whole time. And I, well, yeah. Ah, oh, man, that was like four years ago. Holy crap, since I graduated. My goodness. Yeah. Damn, I still keep up with like all my friends from high school. <laughs> I don't see them face to face now because because like mostly all of them and half of them move, live somewhere else, are still in college, going to universities and all that. Yeah, and well, me, well, I'm a 22 year old man who's uh, I'm, I'm a 22 year old man who's taking pictures and uh, yeah, talking about kids shows. Yeah. My high school my my high school life was pretty good. I had my ups and down, but yeah, pretty good. I had a question to ask you guys. Were there like any like anime character that you guys that you guys looked up to in high school that, that helped you get through high school? Because for me, well there's this two. Back in 2018, well, well, back in 2018, well, I, I uh, somewhat discovered my anime phase, you can say that. Because around that time, I watched the first two seasons of My Hero Academia on Verd. And I fucking love that. I watched half a fairy tale. So then you go finish fairy tale. I watched like what? I think half a Black Clover. And uh, yeah. By FI, this was this was back day when Funimation was still on Verge. Sadly, not anymore. But yeah, and uh, yeah, but yeah, though. Uh, younger me was young. My high school self was going through the anime phase through that in twenty nineteen. You could say. I watched I watched like a lot of anime in twenty eighteen. So either. Fairy Tale, JoJo, My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia. Fuck, what else? What the fuck? What else did I watch? Besides Dragon Ball Super, no, I think that's it. Damn it! It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was uh really crazy. Now I look back at it, I said to myself, damn. Damn, I uh I really I really do uh I really do miss it. I really do uh miss I really do uh miss miss all this. I miss hanging, I miss school at times. I had a lot of fun times. <laughs> prom oh my goodness, prom, fucking prom. Your boy was sexy, black and yellow for the suit. Hell yeah, I was killing it back today. I had no dates. Yeah, I still, yeah, I, I still had a fun time. Uh, yeah, yeah. And well, yeah. High school was uh. High school was. The best way for best way for me to describe my my point of view for my year of high school. It was like an anime. 
we could say. It's like an anime. And for those that want to know, Boku, what anime character uh, help you get past high school? Honestly, this is this is an easy, this is an honest answer. That uh, Goku. Let me explain. Through my whole life, my through like my whole uh, school life, I felt like I was Goku. Even though Goku isn't, even though know, Goku isn't even my favorite like, Dragon Ball character. That's Vegeta, without a doubt. But uh, it was Goku. <laughs> it was Goku. Everywhere I go, people, ever go, everywhere I go, people, people recognize me. I'm like, oh yeah, it's that Goku effect I have. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I felt like felt felt like that was like the uh, main character, we can say in this show. My life was like an anime isekai, okay, and it still is. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that yeah, that's my uh, high school life. It was. My favorite to say it was fun. It was crazy, it had moments, ups and downs, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Also, around the same time, my stop motion, well, my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel was blowing up nonstop. But I, uh, while, while I was in the stop motion game. <laughs> Who remembers stop motion king? <laughs> Dragon Ball Defenders? The OG, the OG subscribers know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, I do miss, I really do miss that, I really do miss filming that stop motion. Why did I stop? Well, around 2020, when I, when I got my first job, aka the current job, aka the current job that I'm about to leave very soon. Well, at that time, I couldn't. I couldn't do stop motion because I'll focus in more on my job, trying to get money, trying to save that for, for well, for to buy my for, to buy to buy like to buy like stuff that I want to buy with my own money and all that. So yeah, and if, it sucks though because I really I really do want to go back and finish, finish left finish. And uh, we, yeah, I really do want, I really do want to go back and uh, reanimate and refilm, well, still continue filming and animate uh, Legs in the Morphin Grid, because that show left over a cliffhanger. It sucks though that, uh, it sucks though that, it sucks though that uh, I can't go back to it. I could, just same time. I don't know, dude. Stop, stop, stop motion game. The stop motion game right now has changed a lot ever since I left in 2020, and it sucks though. I would love to go back to it. It's just I just don't I just don't feel I just don't have, I just like uh, don't feel it anymore. My one of my like favorite stop motions I did make was the uh, Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren video that came out on March came out on March third came out on March in 2020. Cause that video took like. Wait, what, I think four days, four days to film, and it took like two days, one whole week I think to edit that bad boy on a crappy editing system I had on my MacBook <laughs> three years ago. And yeah. Oh, by the way, FYI, that editing system that I used was trash. Cause my God, all the all my save files. Got deleted around 2019 when that happened. Let's just say, let's just, let's just say that 2019's Christmas wasn't the best for me. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, but but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, back, but back, back sorry, but yeah, back on as I was saying though, so. Uh, Wait, was it 2019 or 2020? It's one of the two. But. Damn it! The f my phone's blowing up. But back, but back on saying, though, that, uh. 
I really do want to go back and film more stuff with it. I just don't have like the energy in me anymore to do it, and it sucks. There are moments I said to myself, you know what? I got inspiration to do like stop motion, but at the same time, how can I do it? It's been like three fucking years since I since I left the game, and well, and well, I know that it changed a lot ever since. <sighs> it does suck. But at the same time, I understand. I evolved from that. <sighs> uh, my stop motion was pretty good back in the day. <laughs> I met a lot. I, I met. I met. I met. I met like a lot of uh, people in the community because of those videos I made. Jay Uchiha, we don't talk anymore. Me, me, and him are no longer friends. Uh, Thundercast Studio, one, two, three. Uh, Zaha Animation, who used to go by Dragon LZ, Starbreast Studio, Saint Kami, and uh, many others. And uh, yeah, I still talk to all those guys every day, except for except for a one. But uh, but uh, yeah, but yeah, though, my t it's crazy. It's actually crazy though. Stop motion, the stop motion community changed a lot from from where I was. Again, I used to be part of it, not anymore, because my God, so much drama I have in that damn community. And trust me, I had my own fair share of drama with other people for things I said and well, I did as well that were, well, stupid and, uh, people, and some overreacted. Not gonna say what. <laughs> Hashtag Star Wars. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Sorry. Sorry, but uh, but yeah, though, stop. Yeah, stop. Most people always have like a big part on my life, and and uh, they help me. They help me become. They help me actually with uh with with, with who I am today with my photography actually. And yeah. Yeah, stop motion will always be there in my life. And I will miss it. I really do. I really do wish that, uh. I really do wish that, uh. I can go back in time. And, uh, have that. Have, so I have that. That, uh. That. That inspiration to do it. Do more stop motion. But unfortunately, I don't have it on me anymore. And, uh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of IRL stuff, I'm, I said that I'm about to leave my current job. Okay, so update about that. I got a job. Oh, fuck. Wait, hold on. Excuse my language. Okay, my phone's blown up. So, uh, guess you got a job interview this Monday. <laughs> yeah, I got a job interview at a at a Panera Bread at my location. You <laughs> know, well, well, I have I have a good feeling about this, guys. I really have a good feeling about this because I said to myself today and to my parents that uh, once this interview goes pretty well, smoothly, do good, and uh. And then they say that, uh, and they say I get the job. I'm gonna go to my current job and uh, put my two weeks in. And uh, yeah, I've been there. I've been at my current job for three years. Have a good memory, but at the same time, I had a lot of frustrating memories that I just that I just don't want to deal with anymore. So I want to I want to leave my negative. My negative energy at that place, and move to this move and go to this new job that I that I found that I'm, that I'm going to be interviewed at, and have a lot more positive vibe, positive side to it. And yeah, I guys, I really feel this. I really feel this. I'm not gonna lie. 
a lot, a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends are telling me good luck, and uh, I tell them thanks. Cause yeah, I really feel this, guys. I'm about to leave my job. Have you guys ever had a job? Have you guys ever had that one job you've been for three fucking years? Not over a year, only like a freaking decade. And say to tell you know it's finally time for a change. I'm leaving. That's basically me. I've been th I've been in this job for three years since 2020. Since July, since July of 2020, I've been at this job. And now here I am in, in April 2022. Well, three, sorry, April 2023. My bad. And uh, I'm and uh, I'm about and I'm about to leave this place. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it has to be done because, well, here's why. Number one, every time I, every time I go in there, they get like a lot of new employees, and, I, and also because of that summer summer is literally almost here. Same for spring. Summer and spring are no, that's spring past. Summer is literally almost here around the corner. I mean, literally, it's almost here. And uh, because of that, a lot. Of, People are a lot of people are getting jobs, and I, at my current job, at my current job, they they like a lot of new faces, and I say to myself, "Yeah, it's time for me to leave. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to leave. It's time for me to leave." It was fun till lasted three years, did my part, and well, it's time. Well, it's time. For, well, it's time for me to. Uh, well, it's time for. I can't. Well, yeah. Uh, it's time for this new gen. <laughs> new gen. The new employees to take my spot, <laughs> and yeah, and yeah, because your boy, because your boy, your boy had like a freaking, your boy had like a freaking uh, army on army army payment order to take care of in the month. And well, my current job ain't doing jack for putting me on the schedule. You know, I really need that money now, <laughs> so. I'm actually pretty. I'm actually grateful that uh, that uh, this, that uh, Panera Bread caught my uh. That Panera Bread is gonna interview me. I'm really excited for this and nervous. And I I, I felt and I, I got this. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna get this job, hundred percent. I am. And well, yeah, <laughs> this is actually happening. I'm I'm actually about to leave my current job. I'm about, I'm about to put my two weeks in at this interview. As the interview is successful, and yeah, crazy, exactly crazy. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Man, I never expected. Uh, I never expected that uh this I never expected that uh this was going to happen but uh last year well last yeah last year I made a uh I made a list of goals for twenty twenty three and one of them one of them was on there is to leave my current job and find a brand new one that I will like. And well it looks like that goal is happening. And I'm, I'm actually excited for it. I can't lie. So, because of that... So, because of that... I gotta I got be serious for a second. Because of that... There's gonna be a... There's gonna be a schedule change... For my channel. For, like, up, up, uploading, like, uh, reviews of toys or figures. Since I will, since uh, once it, it once this interview goes successful, you know, when I get the, when I, when I get the job, the reviews will probably happen on, on the weekend. Will be able on the weekends, or or if I'm like if I have if I have like that one day off, I will go film the video and upload it to you guys. But yeah, the videos will mostly happen on the weekends. Just to uh, be clear and be 
yeah, just to be clear and fair with you guys. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is, that's happening. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's happening. Okay, my phone phone off. But yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, happening. Why is that? Hey, man. I, I, hey, man, don't look at me. I have, well, time is money. <laughs> Again, I have like a youth army army order in the mo. How big is this order? Well, let's just say that uh, it's not small, that's for sure. And uh, so I'm saving all my money I have in my account and my paychecks as well to pay for this bad boy. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, the hell. So, yeah, that's happening. Am I gonna, am, am, am I gonna unbox this whole thing? Yes, I will make a video about it, and I, and you guys will watch it, so don't worry. Speaking of video, will you guys, will you guys be down if I do like a, a, a live stream on YouTube? Because I've been thinking about that lately, that uh, I wanna, I want to do like more live stream, but I'm trying to think about. I'm trying to think. Well, what the what the heck can I do for live stream? We can talk about we, we, we can talk about Toku or or IRL stuff or just ask or just Q and A Q and A. Just give me any answer and I'll just like give me any question and I'll answer back. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I've been thinking, I've been thinking about that a lot lately, and uh, I may, I think I made a tweet saying, saying that I feel like streaming one day, and uh, I, I think I said one day. I, I forgot, I forgot about, I forgot about what I said, but yeah, I'm down to do that. I just want to hear you guys' thoughts on it. If you, so, like, uh, comment down below if you, if you guys are down to, if you guys are down for a Broku live stream one of these days. And, uh, yeah. So, 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 uh, yeah, that's going, that's going on with my IRL life. So, 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 on to better news. Let's talk about Tokyo. Uh, today, yeah, okay, today, the episode one of the Ultimate Z, well, Z dub came out on Super I. Now, now, what I think about it is actually really good. It's not perfect, no, but the dub was really good. Really good stuff. <laughs> so yeah, do I enjoy it? I I I thought I I oh, sorry. I thought it was decent, pretty good. Like it, it's like nothing. It's not, nothing like a uh, ten out of ten, but uh, pretty good. Get up, get first episode. There were a few times that in the dub, the lip flapping did not match the voice, did not match the vocal cord, the vocal voice. But uh, but uh, yeah. Minus that, the first episode was really good. <laughs> also, just on FI this, for those who want to know why, sh for, for, for those who want to know, yeah, Sean Shemo is Ultimate Zero in the in this dub. Why is that? Because Christopher Sabat, Vegeta himself, is the narrate for this uh for this for Ultimate Z. What that means, I'm gonna guess that what that means he's like somewhat in charge of this of this dub. <laughs> so yeah. First time first first time here first time hearing Z I was, I was like, wait a minute. No, let me like I mean Zero. First time hearing Zero in the dub. I'm like, wait a minute. That's Sean Shemo. Goku is Ultimate Zero. Oh my god. So not only Goku is the most powerful, strongest universe, most powerful, strongest Saiyan in the known universe, 
He's also the most strongest Ultraman in the Neo Universe. <laughs> Fucking my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Fucking. My goodness. I was laughing. I was like, wait a minute. It's Sean Shemmel. It's fucking Sean Shemmel. It's Sean Shemmel. God damn it. It's Sean Shemmel. To be fair, this dub had, had like a lot of fun amazing VAs. So I wouldn't be surprised if the if if they're filming this dub at Funimation. But yeah, episode two is coming out tomorrow. I can't wait for it. Episode one is really good. I love Ultraman Z. If one, if he's my uh, I love Ultraman Z. Well, Z. If my favorite, if my favorite Ultraman, if my favorite Ultraman show, and uh, we watch this time, but in dub, I'm actually excited. I'm actually pretty excited that this happened. I think the last time a Ultraman show got like a dub was like, like, what, was like what? Fucking Tiga. You had the Tiga dub from four kids. Now, I haven't watched the Tiga dub, but uh, I know, but I did see a few clips on Twitter, well, on YouTube, and uh, it was cringy. <laughs> that for sure. But uh, yeah, this dub, this first, ep this first episode of the dub is really good. And I, I, I enjoyed it. Honest ranking. Probably give it a uh, a six. It's only the first episode, so I won't be like I won't be like too harsh to it. But uh, yeah, the dub the dub pretty good. And for those that and for those that are like worry 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 about the flag about about how about America using Japanese footage from a Japanese TV show to dub over here. You guys know that Japan dub over Power Rangers, and. <laughs> Japan had Japanese dubs of Power Rangers shows like Mystic Force, Season 1 and 2 MMPR, Samurai, SPD, uh, not Dino Thunder, Mega Force, Super Mega Force, In Space, Turbo, and yeah, hell, even the freaking movies. So, I kind of see this. So, I asked. So, I actually see this at like this. We t we bought we bought Japanese for from Sentai. We put them in Power Rangers over here. We're we with dubbing with dubbing uh, English voices. And now uh, and now people now people are dubbing over. That <laughs> <Nah>, boy, that <laughs> nah, boy. It's like this, right? It's like this, right? Japan, Japan asked America and say, so, America, can we borrow your Power Rangers season so we can dub them Japanese? America like, yeah, sure, uh, just, just hand over, just hand over your Jap, your Ultraman show so we can dub them, so we can dub them in English. Japan's like, yeah, sure, and, uh, ba that's basically it. And yes, I know. But Bloku, that lot, that, but Bloku, 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 that lot, that lot, that but Bloku, that lot doesn't work. Why is that? I know, Super Y and Toei are two different companies. I know, Super Y and Toei are two different companies. I want to put this out though. There are people out there that, that refuse to watch watch the show without subtitles. Well, well, with subtitles. And uh, I think and I think this dub is pretty good. It, it, it's a pretty good opportunity. Oh, sorry. It's a pretty good opportunity for them to watch it. Because I love my I love sub. I'm more I'm more of a sub guy than dub guy. But uh, for those that don't like sub, that and that refuse to watch subtitles, but yet at the same time, at the same time they watch they watch anime in Japanese. Just saying. Then uh, this dub is for you. It's 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 hundred percent English. And uh, well, you don't need subtitles. You don't need subtitles to watch it. But yeah, uh, the dub, the dub, the dub, the dub pretty good. The first episode pretty good, and I, I'm excited to watch. I'm, I'm gonna, first episode pretty good. I'm excited to watch like episode two tomorrow. So yeah. 
So, G's and King Oja time now. Oh boy, I I have to be waiting for this one. Okay, let's talk about King Oja first. We just debut episode. They were fire. My God, they were fire. They they were fucking fire. The fucking yeti that they have. My goodness, adorable. I love it. I want it. No joke. I actually want that. I actually want that plushie. It's way more cute than Love Call from Revice. Don't at me. It's so adorable. I want the fuck. I want it on my bed. I want that pl that I want that fucking Yeti plushie. He he so he looks so adorable. <laughs> I gotta keep it down, but yeah, I want that Yeti plushie, dude. He looks so fucking adorable. I'm like, damn it, I want this. Like no joke, no cap. I actually fucking want this. He looks so adorable. Let me hug him, please. Let me hug this bastard. No. Uh, okay, fuck you then. He's not talking collectibles, but uh, I want, but uh, I'm, I'll be rain, I'll be rain for the XL size, for the human size. No, I'm not actually fucking lying. I'm actually dead serious. I want, I want the human size of that plushie, the one that Rita got in her, sorry, in their debut. I didn't, I, didn't meant, I didn't meant to say she, I meant, I meant to say they, my bad. But, uh, yeah. Rita, see, like that, they're gonna be, they are gonna be my comfort character, my relatable character in the show. Why? I can't explain why. I just got, I just got a good feeling about this character, and that's all. And of the fact, I got last episode, after the debut of, of their, um, their, the debut of the character focus episode happened. Rita was Rita was trending nonstop on Twitter last week on the weekend. Now I may as well have been a part of the reason why, and say for many others, and it was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy. It was fucking crazy that happened. And God damn, I fucking love it. I fucking love it. Ay, 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 I fucking love it. Ay, ay, ay. I love Rita. I fucking love Rita. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. So, let's talk about Jeets now. Okay. 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 Jeets. Oh, boy. My goodness. I'll come back to King Goja, but I'll... But I'll I want I want to gush about Jeets first, guys. That last episode, what the fuck? Jesus Christ! So we got so we got a lot we got a lot on pack here. It's Nago's birthday, right? And a certain accident happened on her birthday. She she got kidnapped, and we find now that uh she died. Her the kidnapper killed her. She died, and she died on the birthday of her kidnap. And the father wasn't having it. So what he did, he became his Zai Grand Prix sponsor and uh, his one wish to bring back his daughter. So basically, the whole time, Naga's character was just basically, well, you, well, you can say basically freaking energy. Well, to, well, I wouldn't say energy. Still, still mostly more of uh, a zombie, you kind of say. Just resurrected. And, uh, my goodness. My goodness. Ace was pissed. Ace was pissed what, for, for Snoopy and, and Bootleg Azu's, uh, Snoopy for, Ace was pissed at Bootleg Azu's for Snoopy and Nago's personal life and background. My guy was mad as hell. And he, and he's, <laughs> And uh, the motherfucker had the the most savage line ever. B savage line ever. You got <laughs> my man. If I remember, he said he basically said something like uh, breaking Naga's hard thing was is unacceptable. 
I think it was. He was not having that. He was not having that. And then he went in. And, oh, boy. He, my man is serious. I never saw Ace so mad before in my life. But nah. But no, I fucking love this. And let's talk about her sponsor, Kuhn. Fuck. <laughs> I really don't like this guy. Moving on. I really don't like this guy. My friends all saying Knox. My friends all saying Knox from the Red Rain Tokyo podcast. Talk about uh, talk about talk about talk about why why they don't like him. Yeah, I agree. I don't like this guy. My fucking guy. This guy's a fucking cock. Let's get related. But no, you be the type of motherfucker that that, that will you you be the type of motherfucker that that will get cut. You see his girl get banged by another guy in front of him. Like, dude, no. And that's basically what I saw. My fucking god. Now I gotta ask him. Wait a minute. Hold on. You my sponsor? He's like, uh, yeah, I am. Oh, cool. And then he treated her like shit. <laughs> and Rossi got mad. And then Naga father, Time Fire, was at the file shop saying, Oh, so, you're my daughter's sponsor, huh? Well, well, I, well, I reckon, well, I want, well, I want you to take good care of her. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is happening. Ace was falling this motherfucker. Time Fire to, uh, to the warehouse that Naga died at. <laughs> That's why I want to say that. I want to say that. This is spoilers. If you have not watched Jeets, do not do not watch this segment of the podcast. Just yeah, do not watch it. Binge all Jeets to come back to this segment of the podcast. So yeah. And my goodness, and my fucking goodness, that episode that, 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 that episode pretty good. My boy Kwa got treated like shit as always, and it breaks my heart. Like no joke, it really breaks my heart, dude. And he's my favorite character in the show. I'm getting a Banjo and uh, I'm getting a Banjo slash uh, Kagami vibe from K- from uh, Kawa. I love it. Put this. If this man Seth is in danger, then he will, he he will do everything in his life to protect her. And God damn it, this been proven many fucking times. Cause she got, because she was in danger one time, and and my and my boy and my boy got well retired. He came back, and second time his sister almost his sister got attacked to a watermelon bomb. Don't know, don't know how that happened, but it did. And now here it is in the next episode, well the preview for the next episode with Ray Ray. I want to say this. When it, when this episode comes out, I have not watched the late episode of, King, of Old Summer Sentai King Goja or Comrade Jeet. So yeah, but yeah, the the next preview, the next preview episode next week shows that she's gonna be in danger. So yeah, but but uh, but uh, yeah though, <laughs> Jeet is Jeet is so good. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I haven't given my thoughts on on a Mark Two, on Mark Two boost, and Mark Two laser. I like them personally. For me, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree with my friend Knox saying that uh, uh, Mark, I prefer uh, that Mark Two look better because of color. Yeah, the black and red and orange look really good for that suit because well, because well, it's a fox. <laughs> Mark Two laser is cool and all right, but I just. Personally, for me, I prefer. Per, per, personally, for me, I prefer uh, Mark. I, I prefer Mark Two only. I prefer Mark Two more because of the colors scheme. So yeah. But overall, yeah. But back to King Gojo, dude. You thought you, you thought Jesus. You thought Jesus reveal was pretty crazy. My fucking god. So, Warg Rigos, 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 the fucking king from Gia's ta- hometown. It's his fucking brother. And all thanks to the non-binary king themselves, Rita, and the help of oh, man help and all the other King Ogers figured figured it out. Now I wanna say, damn it, Rare Girls. I like you, but at the same time, why the fuck? Why the fuck? Would you? Why the fuck would you do this to your own brother, my guy? Like, let me guess. Let me guess. 
I'm gonna guess that uh, I'm gonna get it. Got to do with uh, with family drama, with family trauma, or some family trauma with that. Because, damn, damn, my guy, were you really that mad that uh, your parents, your father chose him to be the next king instead of you? <laughs> I'm gonna guess that uh, I'm gonna guess that uh, Regos did something. Regos uh, brainwashed his mind to make him forget about it or something. And yeah, but besides that, damn, just damn, just damn. Also, I love the fact how Rita, uh, they uh, they said that uh, say that oh yeah, Gia's, they said uh, Gia's innocent, innocent. I'm like, God damn, I fucking love this character. <laughs> I fucking love this character. God damn it. Ah, uh, so good. So good. So good. So, well, yeah, guys. Oh, damn. Uh, I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media in the description. And uh, follow the... And, yeah. Put the notification button but. Put the notification button on for my next video for this whole channel. We're trying to hit a thousand subs, and well, with you guys' help, we can uh, well do that. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, that's all. Thank you all for watching. My name's Aaron, and uh, yeah, have a nice night. Bye.